here it is. Here's a uh, Maston Zodiac rocket, the sun right in my face. We have two nitrogen tanks that are up there. Uh, they hold all of our, our gas in there. They're actually modified scuba tanks for reasons of cost. You can follow this metal tube all the way down. And here we have Planet Vac, nice and installed. Once we've done our sampling event, we can undo these knobs and just pull out the sample. And there we go. I think it looks cool. <laughs> uh, you can see that our other feet are also Planet Vac, uh, except they're not fully set up to do sampling. Uh, we did this so that all the feet would be even, uh, and also to show the point that a lander doesn't just need one foot replaced to be Planet Vac, it can be all of them replaced to be Planet Vac. It's such a simple, low-cost solution that instead of having you know a normal foot, you can just pull it off, put a Planet Vac on. All right, so we have everything plugged in. Power is on. Uh, can you do a one second burst on the remote? Quick, perfect. All right, and we're good. Here's our remote. Basically, we have a timer on it that'll show up here in a second. So we can see how long of a test we wanna do. Uh, when we're out in the field, we'll do a 10 second test. And then we have the very impressive fire button there behind the safety switch. happens when the concrete gets super hot and it actually turns to glass on the top layer. You can see in some of these areas where chips have actually come off um, and they actually send chunks of really hot glass concrete flying when the rocket uh, launches and lands. It's a simulant of a Martian soils. It's got Mars Mojave simulant because it came from Mojave. We, we go there, we mine rocks. These rocks, actually JPL crashes these rocks into something that resembles what you see on the, on the surface of Mars. Super fine material, like you know, tens of microns. Part of the reason why these nozzles point down uh, at least partially, is if there is cohesiveness within the soil, uh, the high pressure can break it up and what helps. What is the pressure? Uh, for this test, 60 PSI. Uh, depending on where you're going, it could be much, much lower. We're here out at the test site in the Mojave. Behind us, we have the Maston Zodiac rocket. We're getting ready for our test flight. Wow, we're gonna launch soon, we're gonna sample, and it's all thanks to you guys. Thank you so much for your generous donations. You made this possible. So a uh, few years ago, um, we actually teamed up with Planetary Society for Planet Deck number one. So we said, is there a way we can land and with a fraction of a second, you can bring sample back. And that's how Planet Deck originated. But we didn't have enough money to put everything together. So Planetary Society stepped in on the Planet Deck number one. Fast forward two years later, there was opportunity to refly this on the actual rocket. Thank you, Planetary Society. They're going through a long checklist right now. They're filling up the, the liquid oxygen to be able to actually uh, light this rocket. And then after that, they're going to do their final flight checks and we're ready to go. Excellent. It's time to get excited. <laughs> we're advancing space science.
Honeybee, go ahead and coordinate with ground crew and do your test. Ground crew, let me know when you're ready. Ground crew is ready at the vehicle. Sampling in three, two, one. There it goes. That dust means we're getting stuff. How cool is that? Like good sample of the Let's go see what we got. I'm on my way to the test site. See right here, that's where our, our sampler was. Justin is removing the sample container from the back of Planet Lab so we can see how much we collect it. Here it comes. Oh boy, let's see. I'm super stoked, guys. This is a great sample. This is a success. Way to go. Go find it back. Planetary Society members, this is what we do. This is, we are advancing space science and exploration. 